I'm Anne of All Trades, and today I'm going to talk to you about the construction of this shave course. Okay, let's get into the construction process of this shave course. It started as a project with a group of friends who all wanted shave horses. We wanted to create a few extra ones for the woodworking program at the woodworking school that I used to manage. And we did a huge push to get all the parts cut out. And then life totally got in the way for all of us. And we all kind of just put our little shave horses in a pile in the corner. And that's where they stayed for a while. In that whole meantime, in between the start and the finish of this project, I ended up building out my dream shop and then I finally was able to finish it just in time for the summer season so I can sit outside in my garden and in my yard and do woodworking outside.
that this thing functions is really, really fantastic. It has an extremely strong clamping mechanism. And the coolest part is that with this head, it can raise and lower depending on what you, what height you want to work at, where you want your feet to be, how far on the he how far forward on the head you want your stuff to be. And the coolest thing is that you can actually change out these heads. So this head is actually specifically made for chair making, for working on longer parts. This is working for spoon carving today just great, but I probably will make another head for it and call it good. I love the fact that this thing has a movable seat because it allows you to work out in front of the head of the tool and it holds your work securely so that you can work safely. The single greatest feature of the Shave Horse is this clamp that you can move with your feet that allows you to constantly be adjusting things without having to undo a whole bunch of clamps. I really wanted to take this specific Shave Horse a little further and so that's why I made this video about it. These aren't my designs, I've just modified a design that we found in a Google search and so I made all custom hardware for it. I took all of these bolts, I used muriatic acid to strip off the galvanization, then I put them in the forge and basically just made them look like old timey hardware. Had I really wanted to take this to the next level, I would have actually forged my own hardware, but I also <laughs> kind of wanted to finish the project so I could actually use it. So here we are. I'm really pleased with the result. It's reclaimed Douglas fir from an old historic building in Seattle. I love just carrying on the, the tradition of using historic wood. And then there's walnut accents and all of these walnut accents are pieces off of the Wood Whisperer desk build that I did, which you can look for that video coming up quite soon. And so there's basically just a whole bunch of really fun memories in this piece. First, the memories of working with my friends Kim and Dave in the shop at Pratt as we prepped all the parts for this. And then, you know, the, the memories of building the desk with one of my woodworking heroes. And then the awesome memories of forging on my porch and finishing a project in my dream woodworking shop. So this is pretty cool. Plus, the coolest feature I think about this is the tractor seat. And that just kind of ties it all in together with my whole farm thing I've got going on. I bought it from my favorite antique store where I also got my anvil and most of my forging tools. So this is just a pretty special project. And it's part of a series of videos that I'm going to be doing. Well, I mean, there's actually a few of them already on the channel, so be sure you check those out. I will link them below. But I'm currently in the process of making all the tools I need to be able to make my own Windsor chair. So needless to say, there's a ton of super awesome content coming your way on this channel, so stay tuned. Speaking of awesome stuff, this walnut writing desk is going to be my build video next week. If you want to just kind of see how I did it, then please stay tuned for the free video next week. If you would like step-by-step -step detailed instructions, Wood Whisperer Guild style, then head on over to the Wood Whisperer Guild website and purchase those plans you have till Thursday before the price goes up to, because the actual build is going live on Friday. So once again, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to tune in, to watch my video, to support me making my dream projects, and I can't wait to bring you some more.